Fox 33 News first at 9. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham, a business that illegally set up shop in an iconic place in the Martin Luther King community has now been voted out by city leaders in tonight's top story. This comes after residents band together to oppose its operation, which they say is hazardous to their health and environment, prompting questions into how it got there in the first place. The former Low Mart grocery store was a long time well known establishment off Hillary Huckabee, bringing affordable food to an area that's considered a food desert in Shreveport. It closed several years ago. Residents hope to see a similar type of business move in. Instead, they were surprised to see a trucking company spring up with an owner they say is rude to residents. I, I thought she was bringing a grocery store. I'm excited about it. I want something for my community. And he, I really didn't realize he was arresting me at that time. Residents went to city council on Tuesday to voice their concerns, saying the business is dirty, messing up roads, and leaking chemicals next to a senior center and their homes. There's issues with fuel leaking out of vehicles, uh, into the drainage system, and all of these things. We even had a community meeting there, right? He took no interest in listening to us or even try to address any of the issues that we have. The business owner came to council seeking a zoning change that allows for an industrial site, admitting he moved in without a permit. I've made some mistakes as far as uh, not getting permits when I should have. And brought his attorney to appeal to the council. At this point, no one else is probably going to move in that facility. It hasn't happened in eight years since my client is trying to just do an honorable business. Residents were not convinced. And I can appreciate uh, bringing business to our city when you need it. We can move it to this attorney's neighborhood since it doesn't seem to be a problem. Oh, we don't want it anymore. Okay. The Metropolitan Planning Commission told the council the area is zoned for mixed use development. So the MPC previously denied the zoning change request. Everything was inappropriate about what this gentleman was applying to do. Their councilwoman, Tabitha Taylor, moved to uphold the MPC's decision and asked for the Department of Environmental Quality to investigate the claims of chemical seepage. Councilman Grayson Butcher seconded her motion, and all council members voted in favor. How can somebody set up and get to the point where it's as junky and messy as that without the proper zoning? Is there any kind of, I guess, enforcement or anything like that that, that we can do better? to keep this from getting to this point. The MPC says zoning violations take months to complete, so it's working with the city attorney to make the process faster. MLK residents say they want new business, just the right kind. We are against this kind of development. We want sound, good production developments for our area. And council members say they welcome new business and hope this one moves to another location that is properly zoned. The NPC says city engineers will be sent to inspect the site. Then the Department of Environmental Quality will be contacted for an investigation.